All I'm going to do is explain how to get advanced editing on a new photo project, a photo book project, since their Shutterfly's new photo editing software doesn't seem to have advanced photo editing, but this is the workaround. This is how you do it. Hi, I'm Amy on A Lolly Life, and I'm having a Shutterfly problem because I can't find advanced editing on the new Shutterfly program. They just introduced a new editing software in their, on the Shutterfly site, and I could not find advanced editing to save my life. And so I went to the internet. Nobody had anything to say about it because the new Shutterfly editing program is only just a couple of months old and like lots of people were asking the question. I could definitely see that the question was out there, but nobody had the answer. Every answer that is out there is related to the old editing software, not the new stuff, not the stuff that, you know, if you were to open a new project in Shutterfly right now, that it would be there. No, that's not where it is. There's nothing. It's all about the, you know, it's all wrong. And this was distressing to me because I was like, oh, please, please do not tell me that they like eliminated all of these extra editing features. Please tell me that there's got to be a way for me to use them. I called up Shutterfly and they were super, super helpful. This is what they told me. You cannot get to the new, <laughs> you cannot get to advanced editing in the new program yet. It is still in beta phase. It will probably be another year or maybe even a little bit longer before they have all of those features available that they had available on the old one. And this is the point where I was just like, Oh my goodness, please do not tell me that this is not available. <laughs> I'm not happy about this. But there is a workaround and they showed me what the workaround is. And I'm going to show you what that workaround is also. On Shutterfly, this is a new book, a brand new book. And I have a couple of photos uploaded to it, but there's no advanced editing. This is usually over here is where you would find the advanced editing and there was nothing there. This is how you get advanced editing on a new photo book project. I'm on the Shutterfly website. I've signed in and I'm on the My Projects tab. And this is a book that I, this is a book that I just recently finished. And it is the same size as the book that I would like to do. It's a 12 by 12 book. How you get advanced editing on the new books is you come over here and you make a copy of a book that is the same size or you know the same style or layout or whatever else that you want to use and so since I want to make another 12 by 12 hardcover book I can come to this one it's a previous older project and I can say copy and then I can rename it something else and right it automatically renames it copy of and so I'm going to name it uh, 2021 Bowers Reunion. And now I'm going to create a copy of it. Now, this is the exact same book. This is the old project. This is the new one. And so this is the, this is exactly the same. So now I'm going to go into this project. So I'm going to edit it. It will bring the project up. Now I know that this is the new copy of the project, not the original project, because it says right here, 2021 Bowers Reunion. It is not the Holt Reunion thing. Okay, I'm going to come over here onto Pages, and I'm going to remove photos. This will remove all of the photos from the book. And this is like a hard button to press, even though even though I can look up here and say, it says 2021 Bowers Reunion, I know it's not the same one. You hit remove photos. And it'll be like, do you want to remove from the, only the cover or from the whole project? I want to remove it from the entire project. Remove photos. Whoo, there goes a bunch of work. Now, I'm gonna go back and I'm going to remove the text and the stickers. So, you know, remove text, remove all the text. Maybe I'm going to leave the stickers because maybe I decide that I'm like, well, maybe I'll use some of the same layouts. And so I'm going to leave the stickers. So I decided I'm going to leave the stickers on this one. Okay. And 
we also need to go over here to project and come down here and now that we have all of the photos out of the book so there's no more photos inside the book we still have all of these photos down here from my previous project that I don't want in my new project and so I'm going to come over here to project and I'm going to put remove unused photos which since none of them are in the book all of them are unused and so we're going to do that remove unused photos are you sure you want to do that yes I am remove them now I can continue to remove things until I have either just a complete blank book or I can start where I'm at now and just continue to use maybe some of these templates or th things like that and that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to reuse a few of the templates and so I'm not going to delete anymore. But you can go through and you can delete all of the stickers and that will delete, you know, a bunch more things and so you can make it completely blank and then you can start over. This would be a new project with a new name, but you still have advanced editing. So I can come up here and I can uh, save my 2021 Bowers Reunion project. Now it is saved and it does not have any of the, the photos or the text in there. It just has some page layouts. But what it, more importantly, what it has is it has advanced photo editing right over here and I can click that and turn it on. This will continue to work for another year or so while Shutterfly is in the beta phase of their new editing software and this is a way to get a new photo book with advanced editing because you cannot open a new project and get advanced editing. You can only copy an old project, delete things off, you know, rename it and delete things off of the old project and then use that because that is used in the old editing software. So that is how you get a new Shutterfly project, a new one with the advanced editing feature. And with that, I will say, see ya next time on a la la la.